Hello, this is Joy, your assistive technology professional, and today we are gonna talk about a couple features of power wheelchair, and that is tilt and recline. So tilt is where the whole chair rocks back. So you can see that the whole chair is changing, but none of the angles are changing. So this feature is really helpful for offloading. So if someone can't take their weight off their seat, which is really needed for that skin protection, this is the feature that helps with that because it transitions the weight to be more on the back. Uh, it's also really helpful for transfers because when someone transfers in, instead of having to go behind them and kind of hoist them back, you can use gravity to kind of let the hips sink back. Also very helpful for just increasing sitting tolerance and opening up the chest. So when you're sitting upright, the, your body might be kind of hunched over, your eyesight might even be kind of down. When you tilt back, you're using gravity to kind of open everything up and change that, that position. So that's really helpful. Recline is where the hip angle of the back actually opens up. So this is kind of like the lazy boy feature. Okay, so when you do that, uh, there are a couple other features that are happening. One is you are offloading more, which is great, especially for people who have had decubitus ulcers or are really at risk. Um, also, it can be helpful for intermittent catheterization people who are independent with that. It can also help reduce spasticity in the lower extremities because opening up that hip angle can kind of stop those episodes from happening a little bit. Um, so what we're gonna do today as well is we're gonna look at some pressure mapping. So this is a tool that can be used to see what's going on uh, with someone's specific bony prominences and the way that they sit. It's also a way that we can analyze which cushion might be the best for dispersing that pressure. So over here, you can see um, that if I shift my weight, you can see I can completely offload, right? So that would be, that would be good. I would not need these features. And then uh, when we are going into tilt, you can actually watch and see how those areas offload. So just by going into a little bit of tilt, you can see that we're actually taking some of the weight off. Okay, so that's tilt. It's recommended to do 25 to 45 degrees uh, of tilt, and then we can do our 110 to 150 in recline, and you can see how much we are really able to offload. Okay, so this pressure mapping is really helpful for training patients as well. So here I am coming out of everything. And there we go. So skin is really important to offload every 30 minutes for at least two minutes so that those capillaries can kind of breathe. Also for American insurance, these features are coded very specifically for specific mobility diagnosis or skin related diagnosis. So it's really important that you're working with the doctor that the doctor is noting those codes, those ICD codes for the HICPIC codes of tilt and recline. And if you have questions about that, uh, just let me know. I'm happy to direct you to understanding that information as well. Thank you.